Hello guys and welcome to Hankins Custom Rifles, another episode of Hanks TV. Today is March the 25th, I believe, and we're in the shop making a few muzzle brakes today. And what goes on is we get the machine programmed and I've got my sister-in-law who comes out here and helps me run them and she'll just sit here and run the parts and I'll go back in and make guns and build rifles and do whatever I need to do in the other room. But we try to keep the CNC milling machine and the lathe running as much as possible. And she's the one that does all the, the loading and unloading of the parts and pushing the buttons and all that stuff. So what we're doing today is drilling holes in muzzle brakes. And I thought you guys might want to see a quick video on how we do that on the CNC equipment here at Hankins Custom Rifles. So whenever you all need a muzzle brake, when you get to the market to where you want one, you can give me a call. I should have a few in stock and ready to sell you guys. So what we're going to do now is we're going to bring Denise in. She's going to do her job, and we're going to get everything up and running, and then I'll show you the process of the machine drilling the holes. Okay, so we just finished drilling one. Denise is going to come in now and do what she needs to do to get ready to run the next program. I'll kind of explain to you guys what she's doing as she goes along. She's got a little vise here on the side. And what we do is we're going to load the part in there, face up, and we're going to come in with a chamfer tool and we're going to put a small right here on the top of this muzzle brake so that it will line up without a burr on it with our live center. Then we've got a brake over here on the indexing head. It's already been drilled. She's going to take that off and remove it. Now the part that she took out of the small vise is now going in to the indexer. Screw it on a mandrel that was made on a CNC lathe. Hand tight. We tighten up the tail stop. And lock it in place. So now you guys can see the inside of the machine. This is the, the setup. Pretty simple little setup. Just we're going to index a bunch of holes into this part that's been turned on the lathe. So when it comes over to the machine, it comes off of the lathe and it looks like this. It's just a muzzle brake blank body. It's been drilled, bored, single point threaded, and checked with a go and no go gauge to make sure that it is exactly what we want it to be before we go on in here to the next step. So simply close the doors and hit the button and we'll come over here to this window. I cleaned the coolant off of it so you guys can see in here what's going on. So we hit the cycle start button. It changes the tools. It comes over. We're going to come down and just barely spot that muzzle brake. So change the tools again. We've got a solid carbide coolant through the drill. So the, dr the coolant goes through the drill bit and drills those holes. We're set up to drill holes on a spiral. So every time it drills a hole, the indexer moves. And we work forwards and backwards. The coolant through the drill bit allows us to operate up to 10 times faster than a standard high-speed steel drill to be able to drill those holes. You'd be here for a long time if you were drilling those with a high-speed steel drill bit. And our RPMs on that drill, you can see them right there, 4,360 RPMs is what that drill bit's turning. windows getting a little bit splattered with coolant. And there you 
have it, fella. There's a gun muzzle brake. You can see the coolant still coming out of that drill bit. That muzzle brake is now done, and this is a brake that I use on my muzzle loaders. And I'm going to have a couple of hundred of these done here in a few weeks, so if you guys need any brakes for a muzzle loader or any other center fire rifle, these will work just fine. I believe I've got a quarter inch hole through the center of these, so they'll work for something all the way down as small as a 22 caliber. So now all Denise has got to do is And the process repeats itself, and we just do this over and over until all the muzzle brakes have their holes drilled in. And that's all there is to it, fellas. That's how we drill the muzzle brakes here at Hankins Custom Rifles. And uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Like it. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Visit HankinsCustomRifles.com for more information about the guns we build here. And until next time, we'll see you later.